Once upon a time there was three bears who lived in a cottage in the woods. There was a great big daddy bear, a jolly mummy bear and a tiny little baby bear. One morning mummy bear made some tasty porridge for their breakfast. It smelled delicious but daddy bear said this porridge is much too hot to eat yet let's go for a walk until it's cooled down so off they went for a walk in the woods until their porridge was cooled enough to eat the three bears walked along and soon their little cottage was out of sight there was someone else who was out for a walk that day and her name was Goldilocks. When she saw the cottage, she knocked on the door but there was no answer. So Goldilocks turned the door handle and let herself in. As soon as she walked in, she saw three bowls of porridge on the table she was feeling hungry after after her walk so the so she thought whoever lives here like me having a taste first she tried daddy bear's porridge but it was too hot then she tried mummy bear's Porridge, but it was too cold. At li last, the she tried baby bear's porridge, and it was just right. Oh, this is much better! And Goldilocks ate it all up. Goldilocks was feeling a little tired now, and now and wanted to sit down. She saw three chairs and went over to them. First, she tried sitting on Daddy, Daddy Bear's great big chair, but it was very, very hard. Next, she tried sitting on Mummy Bear's big chair, but this one was much too soft. Then, she saw Baby Bear's chair and went to sit on that. <gasps> oh, this is much better! She said, but just as she got comfortable, there was a loud crack and the little chair broke into pieces and she fell on the floor. Goldilocks got up feeling a bit sore. She said to herself, I do need a rest now. So she climbed up the stairs to the bedroom. First she lay down upon Daddy's bear's bed. She wriggled about, but it was much too lumpy. Oh, bother! She said and went to try Mummy's bear's bed. <gasps> this is the diva! She said as the feathers flew about and tickled her nose. She got up, up, up once again and saw Baby Bear's bed. She lay down on Baby Bear's bed and it was just right. Oh, this is so comfortable! She said, and before she knew it, she had pulled up the covers and fallen asleep. Go. Meanwhile, the Go. three bears had finished their walk and were returning home. Mummy Bear saw that the door to the cottage was open. She put up her paw and they all stopped and looked around
I know that door was closed when we left. I wondered who opened it. Maybe it's burglars. Don't worry. Whispered Daddy Bear. Everyone follow me. We'll soon find out what's going on. Let's go. Slowly and very quietly, Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear crept in through the door. The three bears went into their kitchen and looked slowly around. Daddy Bear went over to the table to see if anything was missing. He, he looked at his bowl and spoon and said in a very puzzled voice, Who's been eating my porridge? Mummy Bear came over to the table to see what was wrong. Then she said in a cross voice, Who's been eating my porridge? Then Baby Bear looked at his bowl and said, Who's been eating my porridge? They've eaten it all up! Oh dear! I wonder who has ate your porridge. Let's all go and sit down while we think who it could be. So they went to sit by the fire and just as Daddy Bear was about to sit down, he growled. Who's been sitting in my chair? Then Mummy Bear looked at her chair with su surprise and said, Who's been sitting in my chair? Then Baby Bear said in a tiny little voice. Who's been sitting in my chair and they're breaking it all in pieces? Next, the three bears went up the stairs to the bedroom. Daddy Bear looked at his bed and saw that it was in a mess. Who's been sleeping in my bed? He growled as he pulled his cover straight. Then Mummy Bear saw her bed covered in feathers and said, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Then the baby bear growled in a little cross voice. Who's been sleeping in my bed and her still there? At this, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears standing by the bed. <coughs> Roared the three bears. At Goldilocks, up out of the bed, she jumped and off she ran as fast as she could down the stairs, past the broken chair and the empty porridge bowl and out of the door into the woods. She ran and ran as fast as she could all the way home. The three bears went downstairs into the kitchen. Never mind. I'll make you a new chair. And I'll make us all some more porridge for our breakfast. They never saw Naughty Goldilocks again.